Hey guys, I'm Jenna and welcome to Girl on Sports. First up, could the Sonics be coming back to Seattle? Maybe, and it's all thanks to Chris Hansen. Wait, who is Chris Hansen? Well, he's a wealthy San Francisco hedge fund manager and native of Seattle who owns three acres of land located just south of the Safeco parking lot. Hansen wants to build a new arena that will house both an NBA and NHL team. That's right, it's a twofer. But wait, how much is this going to cost the public? Seattle officials say absolutely nothing. Hansen's proposal calls for $290 million in private investment to build the new arena, with the city's investment capping out at $200 million. But hey, even if Seattle officials end up needing to raise funds, they can always toll the I-90 bridge, right? In other Seattle news, there's a change in the Mariners lineup. Ichiro Suzuki will be batting third for the team this season. And in the Lynn universe, it's a bromance between the Knicks point guard and Nets power forward Chris Humphreys. Lynn had a chance to chat with Humphreys following their game this week and told the former Kim K hubby that he doesn't understand why Humphreys gets booed and that he respects his game. In response, Humphreys said that Lynn is a nice guy and he's happy to see good things happen to good people. Aw, isn't that sweet? And now to a recent interview where Lynn told a San Francisco radio station that Tebow is one of his biggest inspirations. Or should we say Lynnspirations? Lynn went on to say that he wants to do some of the things that Tebow does in terms of the amount of charity work and non-profit work. Seeing as both of these guys are devout Christians, maybe there is something to this church thing. And are Jeremy Lin and Kim K dating? Say it isn't so? Well, it's not. Jeremy Lin says he's single, possibly ready to mingle, but definitely not dating Kim Kardashian. Our bet it was probably just another publicity stunt by the Kardashian clan. And for our most ridiculous sports story of the week, Want to get your girlfriend more involved in baseball? CBS Sports has released a new baseball boyfriend app and it only costs $2.99. The app has been drawing a lot of negative media attention, no surprise there, with critics stating that the app is both sexist and patronizing. Here's how the app works. Baseball boyfriends earn you points each day and the player with the most points at the end of the season wins. Users even get to choose their player's look, clean, original, and pirate. Yes, I did say pirate. But what can we really expect from an interface that presents stats on a piece of crumpled up notebook paper covered in hearts just like we used to do when we were 12? The only redeeming value of the app, it's for people who already play fantasy baseball, which means you have to understand the game and be somewhat intelligent to win. Well, that does it for us. Be sure to check back again soon for all your latest sports happenings. I'm Jenna Phillips, thanks for watching.